Hey everybody, it's me, it's your boy Omega. Uh, just shooting this quick newsy type video. Uh, we do these on the channel sometimes for just random news updates. We don't do like a Patreon bumper or any other shit like that. There's no like structure or anything. This is just off the cuff me. Hi, I'm talking. And uh, what I'm talking about today, because you can tell from the title of the video or the thumbnail or any of that other shit, is uh, yeah. So uh, we have some perspective leaks. Uh, they seem credible. They've got like, I mean. You'd have to go pretty far to go out of the way for the whole, like, fake-ass art on the boxes and stuff. Like, that's a lot of Photoshop detail. And, um, they got, like, the product codes and everything. Uh, actually, let me double-check. Uh, I mean, the product codes seem a little... a little unusual. They're SOL 31 and 32. Then again, uh, by the way, the... who's and what's it? Um... The specialists are 25 and 26, I think. Or maybe they're 26 and 27? I'd have to double-check everything. Anyway, um, Chewie's 24, and I guess... Okay, so that would mean that the specialists are twenty, are 26 and 27. Anyway, uh, that's still like 31 and 32. There's two more gaps in there. I think 26, 20... What is that? 26, 27, right? 26, 27 would be the Imperial specialists. Sorry, this is like I just said. This is just a quick news video. There's like no planning whatsoever. Um, so 26 is the Rebels, based on the preview, and then 27 must be the Imperial Specialist, so there's 28, 29, and then 30, and then this this is identified as 31 and 32, supposedly. Um, so that's three packs? Don't know about that, it seems a little weird. Um, I would bet that um, one of these, though, if, if it is true, uh, two of these are another couple one. I should also stop beating around the bush, you've been seeing them on the, the screen for like you know, two minutes or so, um, barring some editing, uh, the theoretical leaks are Rebel Pathfinders and uh, Jyn or so Commander Pack. So yeah, um, well, first of all, Rebel Pathfinders, that's a really good concept. Uh, Pathfinders is, I think, a name that has been associated with certain Rebel units before. It's a, it's a really good choice to pick besides, like, Commandos. Obviously, Commandos are, like, the Endor Commandos. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do some Commando shit. And the description of Pathfinders is more like, oh, these are the guys who go behind de enemy lines, and they do elite shit, and they, you know, very dangerous. Uh, and they talk about sneaking behind enemy lines, and they mention the description we supposedly have based on uh, the subreddit, I think. There's, uh, they're identified as a special forces unit. So, uh, sounds pretty interesting. We might finally get some stealth mechanics or something. Uh, and, well, then again, I guess with special forces, I was about to say, yeah, it feels a little redundant, with the special forces, but at the same time, I guess we did also. They just talked about Wookiee commandos and you know the Imperial Royal Guards. So we're changing some shit up. It's interesting. Um, yeah, if it's like I said, obviously take all this with a, with a grain of salt, but at the same time, even if the images are grainy, right? Like they've they've got all the necessary details in them, uh, and if they are like a Photoshop job, they are very good. With all, like I said, with the art assets and everything, okay? Like, not impossible, but it's a lot of fucking detail. And just watch, I'm going to release this video, like, tonight at midnight, and then they're going to announce it the next day. Uh, and then I'll have had news for, like, 12 hours. Boom. Cutting edge internet journalism. Um, nothing else really to say about the Pathfinders. Now, Jin. I like Jin as a character. I really liked Rogue One, actually. Uh, like Jin as a character. Obviously, as a unit, she's probably going to be pretty interesting. Like, she's got a lot of that, you know, uh, scrappy stuff learned from Saw Gerrera. Reckless and aggressive, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, on the other hand, as a commander, I mean, technically, okay, she's like the... She is kind of the coordinator and, and spearhead in the Scarif operation, but still, I don't know. I really would have pegged her as as, as a um operative, and I would have gone with, like... Cassian, who has an actual rank and stuff as a as a commander. Um, though I'm guessing she's going to have lots of synergy with the Pathfinders. Um, let's see, what is the description that supposedly they got? Direct and aggressive. Contributes your plans in many ways. Unit card, three new command card, whatever. It's a pretty standard copywriting. Um, I mean, it'll be interesting to see. I like more special forces. The, I gotta be honest, my the the way um scout troopers play is definitely close to my heart as far as like imp stuff goes but on the other hand goddamn 
Ooh. Now with Pathfinders and Commandos, ooh, that's real good. God, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, I, you can, in case you can tell, I like the the snipery, scooty shooty type thing. So it'll be very interesting to see. Yes. Um, I mean, Jin's got plenty of movie quotes you could turn into some sweet ass command cards. And I mean, I'm not against more unit gender equality on on the table. There are lots of lovely ladies of Star Wars and. Uh, currently, there's, what, a couple rando rebel troops who are ladies? Obviously, because the stormtroopers are all helmeted, uh, you can do much like the EA Battlefront and be just like, ah, some of them are women. You can't tell. Standardized armor. You know, and we, we, won't, we, won't, we won't say anything about how they come at, um, that Luke is too short for a stormtrooper and women are on average shorter than men. I don't know. Maybe they only recruit super tall women. Though, you know, with the First Order, say what you will about Phasma the character, Gwen and Christie tall. Anyway, that's enough that's enough rando thoughts. Um, If this is true, and it, like I said, it, it seems fairly reasonable, but at the same time, I'm not, if it, you know, if it turns out not to be true, I'm also not going to be like, oh, that's terrible, I bought into it completely, right? Like, I'm, I have a healthy cynicism about stuff. But I, if it's true, I'm really going to enjoy it, I think. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how we how Legion makes two units that should be similar again different, right? Like, like uh, uh, this is a bit like how there are pronounced differences between snowtroopers and stormtroopers, right? Like you'd think snowtroopers and stormtroopers shouldn't be too different. Oh no, they've got some. In- they got they do have some interesting uh, different differences that make them work out, right? So like, how are we gonna make? Because as far as special forces go. Like, the difference between the melee-focused special forces is, like, night and day. Like, so how are these guys going to be different from the original special forces, I wonder. Uh, it'll probably be in heavy weapon options, honestly. But who knows? Um, Jin will definitely be interesting to see. Another commander with a pistol. I guess that's just how commanders roll. And, uh, let's see. This is going on. Yeah, this is going to be, like, a 10-minute quick video. I'll, I'll stop rambling as, as much as I enjoy giving you my off-the-cuff thoughts. I'll stop rambling. And just say that uh, obviously, if this a- is accurate, there's no way in hell that the Imperial version of this isn't Death Troopers and uh, Krennic. Uh, one, because Krennic has that sweet coat or cloak. He also has his own special gun. The prop department specifically made him a gun type that's his. He's got like a sweet-ass old revolver type blaster. Um, and Death Troopers are just... Yeah, that's that's something that this game has needed since day one, um, which unfortunately for uh, Rebel Pathfinders will immediately seduce me back to the dark side because Death Troopers are dope, uh, and I hope they're sufficiently dope in game. Like, do you in the comments feel free to speculate about the unit? Like, I can throw some ideas back and forth. I don't want to waste. I could spend minutes, hours, days speculating on units, right, without any concrete details. So I won't. I just won't. I won't bother speculating. Uh, you guys are feel free to speculate in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, if this is true, I'm excited. I'd love to cover it. Uh, though, I think we're about due for a Royal Guard preview article, which uh, won't be a lot of new news for people because some people have gotten some early copies and spoiled some stuff. Fry grenades are really rocking. Uh... I could do a video on that, but I want to wait for the official announcement to come out, and then I'll be like, by the way, here's the stuff they didn't talk about it because it was in the spoilers. Um, but there are some interesting developments there. Uh, if true, I'm, I'm excited for it. That said, I got to say, a little disappointed we're still rolling out uh, OT-era units because uh, X-Wing just did their big fucking Clone Wars announcement, which hopefully sets the trend for what they're going to do with Legion. Uh, so I'm waiting for my, like, complete, you remember, you know how when you when Legion first started, there was okay. You got core set, you got a corp unit, uh, you know, a core unit each, or corp. You know, you can say it like that if you want to. You wouldn't be a dork. Um, you got you know uh, a support and a heavy, and obviously uh, you got your commanders who came in the set. So I'm hoping for like commander plus two corp, plus two core units, uh, like as a faction starter kit, and then individual core pack, uh, support heavy. I do. I bumped my microphone. I'm terribly sorry. FFG, if you could go ahead and inc- introduce special forces like right the fuck away, that'd be great. Be a commando droids. And, uh, you know, uh, Republic commandos. They're probably not going to do I mean, well, they have the assets for Republic commandos. That it, They'd be a great unit 
like a four man team, you could do some different stuff. Uh, I'd say they might want to do Jedi. But Jedi would probably be great generic commanders or, or whatever. Anyway, anyway, uh, like I said, would be super excited for those also because uh, then it would immediately be uh, as much as I like movie wise, as much as the original trilogy, you know, resonated with me a lot, a lot as a kid. Um, goddamn, I love the Clone Wars aesthetic. Uh, I love Republic Commando. I loved playing as um, clones a lot in the Battlefront 2 story mode. The original Battlefront 2 that had a story mode, and it was way better at the quote-unquote villain story than the new Battlefront 2 turned out to be. Whoop, whoop. And uh, in case you guys don't remember, Omega's personal goal for Legion is he wants to be able to recreate every battle from uh, the original Pandemic Battlefront 2. At, at some point. So I guess that means we'll need fucking snails. I was just thinking about it. Anyway, we'll talk about Clone Wars stuff when Clone Wars stuff comes out. I'm going to end the video before I talk any much longer because holy shit, I could talk about Star Wars forever. If you guys want me to just ramble about Star Wars, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I guess I'll just wrap this up. Oh, and if you're watching this video on YouTube right when it comes out, um, check out the other shit we talk about on X-Wing. And uh, check out our other videos where we talk about Legion. And uh, also, if you're just a fan of Fantasy Flight in general, keep an eye out for Legend of the Five Rings content coming soon. All right, goodbye, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you, you could support us on Patreon, but that wouldn't really help you with this video. We just really like it. I'd give you a hug. That's actually a lie. I don't hug. Anyway, see you guys next time.